If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. my fellow mass soldiers so, so what i'm going to be doing right now is going over the best aka cruise 99 gold player you should choose i'm going to give you guys my advice when it comes to picking your player i know other people are breaking it down and showing you guys which is the best one to choose i'm going to go off abilities stats and so forth now here's the thing even if some got a little bit better abilities than others but if one other card has way better stats I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'd rather go with the stats, even if uh, the abilities are, are a lot better on a different card. And the reason why is because some people do go based off abilities. But I, like I said, if the stock card is actually good, I, I realized this year it's going to play pretty good, even if you have great abilities. I played against teams that had no abilities and they were smacking me. So that's just what it comes down to. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I actually haven't redeemed my, my, my tokens yet. So the good thing is I'm actually going to redeem it in this video right here. And we're going to go through and look at all the 99 golds. I'm not going to look at the 98s. There's no reason to. I'm not saying that the 98s are no good. It just, I highly, there's so many good 99s that um, in my opinion, opinion it would first of all we got we're getting a free 98 we're getting free 98 uh b and d cards in the competitive pass so there's no reason to look at the 98s so there it is there you'd be better off getting the 99 gold if you haven't redeemed it yet so we're in the set yeah so we're gonna go aka cruise right here so they announced this is the last update so i'm obligated to now to pick my card uh me personally i most likely might end up going with bruce irvin because i need a left outside linebacker but i'm not gonna lie though i really want the richard sherman too i am a big richard sherman fan i don't care for Jalen water or tyree kill no matter the the um the stats on the cards right so anyways where is the here we go here aka is crew b and d bro there's only 499s i thought there were going to be a lot more honestly I really thought there were going to be a lot more 99 gold. Um, but I guess not. I seen a lot. I looked up. Apparently, a lot of the other ones were like uh, limited editions. Huh? So imagine someone opening up this pack right now and picking a 94 overall. Like that would be that would be I wouldn't even call him dumb. Like I really wouldn't. Like he he really he really must be struggling with coins. I would think. Alright, so there's only gonna be uh four 99 gold. So this ain't gonna uh be too complicated then. So that's actually a good thing. I these are all good though, man. Like these are all actually good cards. We'll go ahead and go with Jalen Waddle right now. We're gonna go ahead and check him out. All right, so I'm gonna read off his stats, and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and go over his abilities. I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I will be looking them up um, on mud.gg for you guys. So, anyways, 99 speed, which is good. He's only 5'10 though. Not so him and Tyreek, they, they <laughs> Okay, 94 jumping, 98 catching, 97 catching traffic, 97 spectacular, 94 short route, 99 medium route, and 99 deep route. So they gave him some good stats. So I will say that. But that height, though, I might say I'm pretty sure. I mean, they, they play pretty good, but still, though, it does somewhat matter. I'm not saying they got to be too tall, um, but height does matter. Oh, and it go, how much is it going for right now? Four, so they're not even going for that much. The, the, the average is 485K. So we'll say about 500K that the cards are going for. All right, so here are the discount abilities for those who want to know. Human Joystick, zero AP. Jukebox, zero AP. Route Tech, Technician, one AP. Slotomatic, one AP. Wide Receiver, Apprentice, zero AP. So the best ones, in my opinion, are going to be the, well, honestly, there's going to be three different ones I like. Human Joystick, Jukebox, and Route Tech. If I had to go with um, one, it would be the Jukebox. And then um, if I had to go with two, it would be Jukebox and Route Tech. That's what I'll be going on that card. So they did give them some pretty decent abilities, but in my opinion, with 99 gold cards, all the all the discount abilities in the name right now should have been all zero AP, in my opinion. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys would agree. Um, but yeah, that's how I would look at it. Go ahead and back out. All right. So now for Tyreek Hill. I have not looked at Tyreek Hill. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have not looked at his stats or anything else. Um, since the card came out, I'm not saying he's not good. I just haven't looked at it. So 5'9", 
97 jumping, which is, I like that jumping, 97 catching, 95 catching traffic, 98 spectacular, 99 short route, 96 medium, um, yeah, 96 medium route, and 99 deep route. So besides this height, everything else is actually pretty on lock. The only thing about this card, I'm going to be honest with you guys, is you could go pick up his last, I think his last card was a 97 overall for very cheap, like 150k, and that card has 99 speed on it. So I don't see why people, the only reason why people will go with Tyreek is because they eventually want to get Jalen Waddle. And I guess you could pick a stat where it gives you plus one speed to your whole, not to your whole team, but to a position that you guys want, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but that would be the only reason why people will pick them up. But that with there, um, I would consider when it comes to the best cards too. So we do got we do got to consider that because that is OP. All right, especially if you do want to pick them up later on. So the prices on this one, I'll say about the the lowest I see so far is like 435 there so far. So we'll say about 500k that uh, these cards are going for. Now for the discount abilities: Deep and Elite 1 AP, Human Joystick 0 AP, Jukebox 0 AP, Route Technician 0 AP, Short and Elite 1 AP. So right now, so so I do give EA that they're pretty dang good because they gave this guy Route Tech for zero AP, knowing very well that he got his other card that I told you guys right now for a 97 overall with 99 speed. So they, I'm pretty sure they knew people were gonna were gonna consider that, and so they actually gave the two discounted abilities that I wanted: Jukebox and Route Tech for zero AP, which I think is great. Right, so that's actually pretty good. This card right here, that's actually pretty good. All right, so now let's go to the next one. Come on, brother. All right, here we go. So now we're gonna go to the other one, which I actually like. I like these other ones. So Richard Sherman. All right, Richard Sherman, here we go. So keep in mind the prices of Richard Sherman, which is gonna be a factor, are 846K. So we're gonna say averagely, this card is going for about 900K. Why so much? I have no idea. Maybe for the Legion of Boom chemistry, I have no idea, but this card is going for about 900k average, all right? All right, so now let's go over his attributes. 6'3", 98 speed, which is great, that's perfect. 97 acceleration, 95 agility, 99 jumping, 96 play rec, 90, look at this, 99 man, 99 zone, and 99 press. Bro, I know I wanna go with this other card, when it comes to when it comes to the position I actually need is Bruce Irvin, and I know Bruce Irvin's gonna be insane, especially with once I get Bobby Wagner, it's gonna be crazy. All right, so let me go ahead and read off his abilities right before I get carried away. Deep zone KO one AP, flat zone KO zero AP, mid zone KO zero AP, pick artist zero AP, secure tackler for zero AP. All those stats are good. All those I'm sorry, all those abilities are great. Um, Player, uh, player specific abilities. So he already comes baked on, as you guys can tell, with pick hard to see OAP. So you ain't gotta worry about that. Um, so yeah, he's actually gonna be able to get those abilities. So that's actually pretty good on both tiers. So that's actually pretty good. Where is the um, X factors are right here. He gets you see this one. All right, so good. So we're gonna go to the next. This card is actually looking pretty good right now. So even though, man, so the last, the last, yeah, these are, these are pretty, some pretty good cards. I want to get two carry. Well, I ain't going to lie. These cards are actually, these new cards are actually looking better than, than the other ones, even though the other ones are cool. Look at this Bruce Irvin. 6'3". The only thing I don't like, the 95 speed is cool. Don't get me wrong. It, that's, that's cool. That for a linebacker, that's cool. It just, I'm used to, I, I want a 99 speed linebacker, but it's cool though. I'm not going to complain too much about that, but I would love that. That would have made it a hundred times better, but it's cool though. For a linebacker, it's decent. As you can tell, my middle linebacker has 95 speed. The only difference is he's a cowboy, so I get two, two, two times uh, um, two times speed. But still, though, he does. They they do they do. He's gonna make plays no matter what. So, anyways, 92 acceleration, 97 strength, which is good. 97 tackle, 95 play rec. Check this out: 99 block shed, 98 power moves, and, and 92 finesse move. Okay, so I know on this card they're missing the coverage, right? So I'm gonna look up the coverage for you guys. Who it Bruce Irvin? So we got we can actually see um, the coverage, so you guys can know. All right. So where is the coverage? So so once it, so this don't show the hit power, but right here it's telling you it's telling me it has 99 hit power, which I'm 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 going in, insane for. 90 pursuit, 98 lead block, right? Or impact block. 
All right, here we go right here. So the man is horrible, which is it's whatever. But check it out. He does get 94 zone. So not only is he going to be a good pass rusher, he's going to be a good zone coverage, which I run a lot of zone anyway. I don't really run a man. I run zone, um, and it works good. He got 80 catching, so that's very decent for a linebacker. So expect him to be intercepting that ball. Uh, catching traffic, 77. Spectacular, 82. I'm only reading those off for, because for a linebacker, they're cool. Um, so everything is great. All right, so... Okay, oh, okay, and I, I do want to mention because I didn't realize that, but they're gonna he's gonna get times two of any of the teams that he played for, like Falcons, Panthers, Bears, Lions, Raiders, Dolphins, Seahawks. He's gonna get times two, so that's actually pretty cool for anyone who's running that. Um, I'm not worried about that, but for anyone who does, that's cool. A, a secondary positions, he gets left in, right in, middle linebacker, and route side linebacker, and it does tell you the overall of the position of the of the position of the card that he's going to be able to get in those positions so as a left in he's going to be a 93 a right in a 93 a middle linebacker he'll be a 97 a right outside linebacker he'll be a 99 goal so that's actually a big plus he does get those out of position or out of position overalls all right abilities which i haven't even went over yet all right so he's going for about 900k2 edge 30 elite 1 ap enforcer supreme 0 ap lurk order 0 ap mid zone ko 0 AP, Tackle Supreme, 0 AP. All right. So, already, I already know who the best card is going to be just based on not only the price, not only the, so, n n see, not only the price, because that's another thing you guys got to consider too, the price, right? But keep in mind, we're going to get Bobby Wagner, and they're going to get the lead. So, Bobby Wagner, if you guys don't know yet, he's going to get the Legion of Boom Kim too. So, I would either pick... So you guys can either pick Sherman or Bruce Irvin. To me, the best card out of all four of these are going to be Richard Sherman. That's my opinion on it. Based on the stats, and the abilities are decent too. But based on the stats and considering... So this is what I would do. Get Richard Sherman. You're going to get end up getting middle linebacker Bobby Wagner. And about a couple of weeks, pick up Bruce Irvin. And you'll have the Legion of Doom to start you off with. And then later on, you can go ahead and pick up... When the Reduxes come out, pick up limited edition Cam Chancer. But for now, but for now, I would pick up Richard Sherman. Bobby Wagner is going to come in the picture. He's free already. So you're going to have two free cards already from, from the Legion of Boom. And then later on, pick up Bruce Irvin about a couple weeks from now. And then later on, pick up um, Cam Chancer. And your defense is going to be insane. That's what I will go with if I were you guys. Pick whoever you want to pick, but that's going to be my pick. And that's going to be my take on it. Until next time.